typically in this world, people try to seek happiness by stimulating the senses and the mind. Yeah, so, so basically we like to touch things and, and smell things and see things and hear things. And, you know, with the mind, there's lots of things that can stimulate a person's mind, like, you know, watching so many things or playing video games or try to figure out stuff, you know, writing, whatever it might be. Yeah? And so, but no matter how much stimulation we get through our mind, and our senses, it will never be f fully enough where to the point, we come to that point that we say, oh, I'm feeling so wonderful, so blissful, so peaceful. I have no more desires. This is perfect and it's gonna be like that for ever, for the next, at least for the next 40, 50 years. I don't, I don't think anybody has met a person who has actually um, achieved this condition through that path yes through, through through material experiences and so we have to make a distinction here that there is actually a great difference between um, experiencing pleasure in the body and the mind and spiritual happiness okay. spiritual happiness is actually based on pure love and and it's different. So it's like there are two energies, the material and the spiritual. Yes. And we are part of the superior spiritual energy. But because we are, we are now, we're not covered or living in this material dimension, there is this, there is this conflict, this mm -hmm. duality. And, it's, and so, so the question is, what do we identify with? Yes, yeah, so we already know no material experience can truly touch us to the fullest in our hearts as much as we need. So basically, this craving that we all have inside ourselves I, I for remember, happiness. Yeah, so it's a gift wrapped emptiness. <laughs> yeah. So this craving that we have inside ourselves for happiness is actually a spiritual longing. Mm -hmm. So we need, we need spiritual food, we need spiritual fulfillment. And just a little bit of spiritual fulfillment actually gives us enough of that taste of that experience that we already know okay I'm that's that's what I that's what I want this is what I need and I'm not so much interested anymore in trying to accumulate all these other things yeah so and part of this is if we have unrealistic expectations of materialistic relationships or anything in this world thinking that they will make us completely happy, then at some point we will have disappointments, yeah? So we already mentioned that earlier, that we need to spiritualize our existence here in this material world. You know, we actually, we can experience, we can spiritualize our relationships, we can experience increasingly that pure love if we are following this spiritual journey, if we are regularly engaging in Goranga meditation because it will purify our hearts and minds back to its original state and then and then our relationships according to the our consciousness will become more and more spiritual and more and more fulfilling and then there's no more question of having um, all this emptiness and always trying to look for things to try to fill up this emptiness you know? It comes down to our eternal function. Yeah? yeah. What are we really meant to be doing with this with this with human resources, journey? Yeah, with, with everything that we get, yeah. you know, just 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 being poor doesn't mean that this person is spiritual or you know you know or you know and just being very rich doesn't mean that a person is 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 anti-spiritual. No, a person can have a, a lot of. You know, whatever we have, yeah. temporary, temporarily in our possession, how we use it, if we use it in the service mm -hmm. of the Lord, it becomes a spiritual activity. And it might be just, you know, maybe a simple person has only very little, but they offer, offer it for the pleasure of the Supreme Lord. Wonderful, their, their existence is perfect. And they encourage people to become lovers of, of the Supreme Lord then? 
Yes. They're doing great things. <laughs> Everybody according to their ability. ability yeah. It's not like somebody who is making a bigger offering or donation or whatever that they are necessarily doing a greater spiritual deed. What's happening for many people is if they think that living for themselves is mm -hmm. going to give them this happiness that they're looking for, this fulfillment, this mm -hmm. purpose, they end up disappointed and empty before long. Yes, so the nature of all living beings, yeah, of the spiritual being, is actually to serve, not to be served. Not like I'm the center of the universe and everybody needs to serve and respect me. And you know, So that's not our eternal function and purpose. So we need to be in harmony with our eternal spiritual function and purpose. And then we will find that fulfillment, that satisfaction, that happiness that we're looking for.